Mm, let's see. Epimonious, uh, crucifixion. Ooh. Oh, the boy, is this interesting. Greetings, Dr. Price. Uh, uh, from our uh, Scandinavian friend, Halti Runar. Uh, greetings, Dr. Price. I saw an interesting theory put forward in a video on YouTube by a user called Religion Free Deist basically said that if we think that the prologue to the Gospel of John is a later addition, then the Gospel would start in verse 19 with the words, this is the testimony of John, John and the Johann in question is no other than John the Baptist. So in the Gospel became known as the Gospel according to John. Wouldn't it make sense that it was called that because of verse 19 and it's referring to John the Baptist? Here's the link to the video, uh, youtube.com slash watch question mark V equals 3JSOYCPYJK lowercase g. Or one can just search for John the Baptist, religion free deist. Religion free deist, no space between the words. Okay, another question after that. Let me deal with this. And that is unbelievably fascinating because it has often been suggested that uh, the prologue, which originally would have referred to John the Baptist, a Mandean piece of uh, tradition, did not originally go uh, with uh, with this, even though the Gospel of John uh, is, is heavily Gnostic in orientation anyway. Uh, this is really fascinating. You, you end up with, um, you know, no one has ever seen God, God the only Son or the only begotten God, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has made him known, and then you, you in the RSV, there's a big space there, and then verse 19, this, and this is the testimony of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who are you, he confessed, he did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, what then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. Uh, they said to him then, who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they'd been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, then why are you baptizing if you're neither the Christ nor Elisha nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water, but among you stands one whom you do not know, even he who comes after me, the thong of whose sandal I'm not worthy to untie. One might uh, suggest that originally this testimony of John began with John testifying to his own messiahship because this is transparently another version of the Caesarea Philippi story in Mark, Matthew, and Luke, right, where they have the same options. Prophet? Nah. Uh, Elijah? Nah. Uh, John the Baptist risen from the dead? Nah. Uh, what's left? The Christ? Bingo. Well, here they've just changed it around, so it's prophet? Nah. Elijah? Nah. Christ? Nah. John the Baptist? Yeah. Uh, maybe this has, I mean, I, my assumption is this has been rewritten from that story about Jesus, but suppose the, the uh, switcheroo of, of categories is the only change, and that originally the story had Jesus answering their question about you know, who do men say that you are, uh, as saying, yeah, I'm the Christ, and it was John the Baptist saying so. Fascinating. But even if it wasn't, even if it just went straight this way and was a Christian gospel from the beginning, uh, that you, you got an excellent point. Maybe the title was, This is the Testimony of John the Baptist. That is the testimony of John to Jesus. Uh, fascinating. I mean, there's no story about John getting killed in, in the Gospel of John, is there? I don't think so. It does say his light burned for a while. Fascinating. Yeah, I got to think about that. I really appreciate you mentioning that. That is a new one on me. Fascinating.